أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه الأخيار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is our continuation on the reading of التحفة السنية بشرح المقدمة العجرمية We had read up to باب الإعراب and we finish with the باب الإعراب and so we are continuing from أقسام الإعراب أقسام الإعراب Of course when we say أقسام الإعراب in لغة as we've said we are looking first of all the beginning where we started with الكلام لفظ مركب مفيد بالوضع all these they are introductions they are just to prepare you to know what you are about ma'arifa wa nakira all these things are to prepare you to know what um, to prepare, to aid you in the very topic of nahu but the nahu itself as we've said and we keep repeating is to study al marfu'at al mansubat al majrurat al majzumat because you need to know where words changes where words are mabniya where the words are indeclinable they don't really give much headache because the word doesn't doesn't change already. Words like haza, ila, man, because they do not have in Arab, they do not change. They are not so much of a headache for somebody pursuing now. What we pursue so much is the al awamil wal ma'mulat and the al ma'mulat, the ones that reflect changes, which are the uh, the in Arab. And so when we talk about the aksam al Arab, we are looking at a rough. Al Nazbu, Al Jazmu, Al Jaru. These are things we are looking at. Basically, four things. We are looking at just four things. It says Aksamul Arab. Wa Aksamuhu Arbaatun. The text of Ajrumiya itself. It says Wa Aksamuhu Arbaatun. Rafun, Rafun, Wa Nazbun, Wa Khafdun, Wa Jazmun. And of course, Khafdun. This school of thought they call the Jar. They call it Khafd. And so when you, whenever you hear Khafdun. بمعنى جر فلذا هي محفوظ بمعنى مجرور says the أقسام الإعراب are أربعة the four are رفع ونصب وخفض وجزم says فللأسماء من ذلك الرفع والنصب والخفض nouns take three of these nouns can undergo four types three types of إعراب and now can become marfu, it can become mansub, it can become majrur. And now cannot become majzum. So among the four in Arab that we have, now stick three. Jamil, that is what he means by falil asma'i min dhalika, ay min falil asma'i min aqsam al-Arabi, al-nasbu, al-raf'u, wal-khafdu. Wala jazma fiha, asma' don't have jazm. Then he says, وَلِلْأَفْعَالِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ عَرَّفْءٌ وَالنَّزْبُ وَالْجَزْمُ وَلَا حَفْضَ فِيهَا Af'al, verbs as well, take three. A verb can become marfu, a verb can become mansub, a verb can become majzum. لَا حَفْضَ فِيهَا A verb cannot become mahfud or majroor. No, a verb can never have that. He says, أَقْسَامُ الْإِعْرَابِ الَّتِي تَكُونُ فِي تكون في الاسم والفعل جميعا أربعة. The types of Arab that um, happens that occurs in nouns and verbs together are four. الأول الرفع. The first is الرفع. الثاني النصب. الثالث الخفض. الرابع الجزم. These are the four. Says أما الرفع. When we talk about الرفع. فَمَعْنَاهُ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْعُلُوُّ وَالْإِرْتِفَاعِ In everyday language, when we say الرَّفْءُ We mean الْإِرْتِفَاعِ وَالْعُلُوُّ يعني being high From رَفَعَ To raise something So when we say مَرْفُ بِمَعْنَا The term is raised, is high Okay So in Luga, everyday language الرَّفْءُ بِمَعْنَا الْعُلُوُّ وَالْإِرْتِفَاعِ That is it وَفِي الْإِسْتِلَاحِ and in, in the in grammar it becomes taghayyurun mahsusun alamatuhu ad-dhamma wa ma naba anha 
When we come about Nahu and we say Arrafu, we mean a specific change in words. And this alama is sign, this particular change, is sign is Dhamma. That is a basic sign. Wama Naba Anha. So we have Dhamma as the basic sign of Rafu, but then also we have some alamat that takes the place of Dhamma when the Dhamma is not there. That's why I call Rafu fil ismi wal fi'li nahu and now uh, a raf'un is a type of is a type of arab that affects both nouns and verbs and he says example of that yaf'amu zaqiyu the smart person understands so yaf'amu here is fi'l mudhari marfu'un wa alamatu raf'ihi ad-dhamma so here is a verb and it is marfu'un az-zaqiyu is what al-fa'ilu marfu'un وَعَلَامَةُ رَفْعِهِ الضَّمَّةِ الظَّاهِرَةِ عَلَىٰ آخِرِهِ الزَّقِيُّ فَاعِلٌ مَرْفُوءٌ وَعَلَامَةُ رَفْعِهِ الضَّمَّةِ الظَّاهِرَةِ عَلَىٰ آخِرِهِ So here the verb is مَرْفُوء The الزَّقِيُّ uh, which is the فَاعِل is also مَرْفُوء and it is اسم He says يُغَرِّدُ الْأُصْفُورُ يُغَرِّدُ الْأُصْفُورُ غَرَّدَ يُغَرِّدُ To sing, to chirp So يُغَرِّدُ الْأُصْفُورُ The bird is chirping is singing. Even a human that is a singer, we call him Mugarrid, Mugarrida. Yani singer. So here also, Yugarridu fail Mudari Marfu Alam Trafi Adamma. Al Osfuru fail Marfu Alam Trafi Adamma. So you have the fail being Marfu with Dhamma there. Al Osfuru also being Marfu with Dhamma. So we, here is just to exemplify to us that verbs can become Marfu, Asma can also become Marfu. And the basic sign of the rafu is the dhamma that we see at the end. There can be other signs which we will learn. So as for rafu, maujudun fi akhir al fi'li yafhamu wa fi akhir al ismi al zakiyu. The rafu, which is the dhamma, the sign which is the sign of which is the dhamma, is apparent at the end of the uh, fi'l, which is yafhamu, and is as well apparent at the end of the noun, which is al zakiyu. And he says, وَأَمَّا النَّصْبُ فَمَعْنَاهُ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْإِسْتِقَامَةِ وَالْإِسْتِوَاءِ When we say, النَّصْبُ نَصَبَ يَنْصِبُ بِمَعْنَى قَامَ بِمَعْنَى To stand like this, to be firm. إِنْ تَصَبَ لِهَذَا الْأَمْرُ يعني, He stood firm for this particular course. So when we say, النَّصْبُ بِمَعْنَى To stand firm, to be straight. So he says, وَأَمَّا النَّصْبُ فَمَعْنَاهُ فِي اللُّغَةِ الْإِسْتِقَامَةِ وَ this meaning in language is istiqamatu wal istiwa, being upright and straight. So istakulu in tasaba, ay istakama wa stawa. So in tasaba bimana istakama, he stood upright and straight. Wa amma fi istilahi nahwiyin, amma fi istilahi nahwiyin, when we come to the al-nazbu as a terminology in grammar, fa huwa taghayyurun mahsusun, it's a specific change. يلحق آخر الاسم والفعل. The specific change that comes at the end of verbs and nouns and verbs. وعلامته الفتحة أو ما ناب عنها. Its basic sign is also فتحة. And anything that replaces فتحة. Where فتحة cannot show, there are other signs that replaces the نصب. Which insha Allah we will come to know when we take them one after the other. And then he says نحو لن أترك قول المعروف لن أترك لن أداة النصب مبني على السكون لا محل لها من الإعراب أترك فعل لن أترك أترك فعل مضارع منصوب بلن وعلامة نصبه الفتحة الظاهرة على آخره so أترك هي is فعل and it is having the alamatu nazb which is fatha at the end. Qawl is a ism. But here it says qawla al-ma'arufi. I will not stop saying good. So qawla here is also what? Maf'oolun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nazbihi al-fatha al-zahira ala akhirihi. It says fal-fi'lu atruk ya. The verb atruk. Mansubun wa alamatu nazbihi al-fatha wa kathalika al-ismu Kawla, mansubun wa alamatu nasbi al-fatah. So here we can see that the verb atruk is mansub. 
and the alamat al is fatha at the end. Kaul is ism and is also mansub and the alamat al is fatha at the end as we can see. Says wa amma al khafdu fa ma'anahu fil lughati al tasafful. Al khafd in everyday language is meaning is at tasafful, being low. Jamil, being low. Wa fil istilahi, even when you look at kasra, it's actually low. Wa fil istilahi nahwiyin, as a terminology of the grammarians, al khafd means tagayyurun mahsusun alamatuhu al kasratu wa manaba anha. When we talk about al khafd as a grammar term, it is a specific change at the end of words, at the end of nouns particularly. And a sign is kesra. Or the other signs that replace kesra. It says, Wala yakunu al khafdu illa fil ismi. The khafd is only in nouns. Example, nahu, marartu bi sa'idin. Marartu bi sa'idin. I passed by. Sa'id. Wa mashaytu um, la wa sa'imtu uh, fil wa sa'imtu min al-maradi. Sa'imtu min al-maradi. I'm fed up of the sickness. Sa'imtu min al-maradi. Sa'ima to be fed up. As Zuhair ibn Abi Sulma, uh, as uh, uh, Zuhair said in his mu'allaqa, sa'imtu takalif al-hayati wa man ya'ish. Samanina hawlan la abalaka yasami. Sa'ima to be fed up. So you can see bi sa'idin. Sa'id here is majroor bil ba. Wa alamatu jarrihi al kasra. And then you see al maradi. Ism majroorun bi min. Wa alamatu jarrihi al kasra. Says amma al jazmu. When we talk about jazm. Fa ma'anahu fi al-lugati al-qatmu. When we say jazmu. This meaning is. To be decisive. Say, jazama fi hazal amr. Jazama fi hazal amr. Jazama ala hazal. Jazama. We mana to be firm, to be decisive. Jamil. So it says, wa fil istilah. When we come to istilah as a terminology, is a tagayyurun mahsusun alamatuhu as sukun wa manaba anhu. As a grammar term, is a specific change which is represented by sukun or any other sign that replaces the sukun. وَلَا يَكُونُ الْجَزْمُ إِلَّا فِي الْفِعْلِ الْمُضَارِعِ الَّذِي يَسْبِقُ الَّذِي يُسْبَقُ بِحَرْفِ جَازِمٍ بِحَرْفِ حَرْفٍ جَازِمٍ أَوْ أَدَاتُ شَرْطٍ جَازِمَةٍ And jazm only occurs in fi'l mudari that is preceded by a harf jazm or adawatu shart al-jazima. Among the conditional articles, there are those that cause jazm and there are those that do not. If a fail mudari is preceded by a conditional article that causes jazm, the fail mudari will be majzum. Nahu lam yasma. So yasma here is fail mudari majzum in bilam wa alamatu jazmihi as sukun. Wa in tadrus tanjah. In tadrus. So tadrus here is a fail shart majzumun. It is majzum bi adatu shart in. So the in here is adatu shart al jazima. And so it makes the tadrus majzum. Likewise, the jawabu shart, which is tanja, is also majzum. You will understand all this with wider explanations, inshallah. Because we study the marfuat, we study the mansubat, we study the majzumat, we study the mahfudat independently. Says, wa yatabayyanu min murajaati ma sabaka. أن أنواع الإعراب بالنظر للأسماء والأفعال على ثلاثة أقسام. We realize that the علامات الإعراب they are in three categories when you look at what we've just seen now. قسم يكون في الأسماء والأفعال وهو الرفع والنصب. There is a particular group of among the type of the types of إعراب that is specifically for that comes for both أفعال and Asma, which is there are rafu and annazbu. Verbs can become rafu, asma can become rafu. Uh, verbs can become nazbu, asfal can also become nazbu. So these two are mushtaraka. They, they share in both asma and afal. Wa kismun yahtasu bil asma. Wa huwal 
خفضو and there is the علامات الإعراب or the type of إعراب that is specifically for أسماء which is الخفض وقسم يختص بالفعل الفعل المضارع بالتحديد وهو السكون and there is those the ones that are specifically for the الفعل and particularly الفعل المضارع which is the الجزم يعني السكون هي بدن it's actually is الجزم not السكون because السكون doesn't come as أنواع الإعراب it's علامة so if your print also has the السكون make it الخفض جميل أوكي so basically this is the أقسام الإعراب we have الرفض الرفع النصب الخفض and then الجزم ال الرفع النصب can become can affect both nouns and verbs. الخفض is specifically for nouns and then الجزم is specifically for verbs. إن شاء الله we take our next lesson in our next session. I pray this lesson was well understood. May Allah bless our understanding. If anything is not understood clearly, kindly do well to ask. Let me clarify. For us to all have a very clear understanding. And as you learn, don't forget to share for others to also benefit. And don't forget to hit the like button if our lessons have been beneficial to you to grow the family together. Till we meet again, have a very good Arabic time. Do all to revise all your lessons. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.